Well, it has been a real bummer this summer for lots of people who love to swim, fish, and boat on some of our local lakes. Harmful algal blooms, including two in Cuga County lakes now, keeping them closed until the problems clear up. News Channel 9's Jeremy Skiba tries to clear up what's happening with the water. Eight days ago, the Owasco Yacht Club closed its swimming area for three days after algae blooms were found along the shore. This is an inconvenience for our members who want to enjoy this time of year at the lake, especially when it's been so hot. The Cayuga County Health Department says the blooms happen when it gets hot out and farm runoff carries phosphorus into lakes. Then high winds stir up a dangerous mixture. Contact with uh, the HABs can cause skin, eye, and throat irritation, including also respiratory issues. Drinking water laden with HABs can also cause gastrointestinal distress, etc. If you take a look at the fountain behind me, you'll see a mix of lily pads and algal blooms. So according to this chart here, that means you want to avoid being in these waters. And if you're close enough to HABs that you can breathe them in, that can also cause health problems to people and pets. There's only so much we can control, so we're hoping to reduce the nutrient loading into the lake right now. Fish says there's not much they can do but monitor and wait for the blooms to fully dissolve in mid to late October. People who love the lake are really hoping for a more permanent solution. Really, as a community, we need to come together as a whole in order to remediate this issue. For now, that solution has yet to bloom. In Cayuga County, Jeremy Skiba, News Channel 9. Fish recommends seeking immediate medical attention if you think you've been exposed. Head over to localsyr.com for an interactive map tracking algal blooms throughout the state.